Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Oninye Ude, and if today is your first time of seeing my video, then you are welcome. In this video, I'm going to be teaching So you today we are making, like uh -huh, we make are making chicken vegetables. stew, just chicken. This is curry powder, garlic powder, our thyme, our ginger powder, have our seasoning, no, have our salt, onions, pepper, fresh garlic, so I'm going to cover the pot, this is hot chicken, I may add water, okay, later. For it to cook properly so today we are going to be making nigerian tomato stew plain tomato stew so i'm going to be using tomato puree most of my stew i cook it with tomato puree it's just as good as fresh tomato thick fresh tomato all right so I use mostly tomato puree. So this is the first stage. In the first stage of Nigeria stew, it's where you fry your tomatoes perfectly well. Okay. Here we have our onions and then our vegetable oil. These are the ingredients for the first stage of every Nigerian stew. Let's get started. Add a big pot of stew. Then I store it in the freezer for as long as it can last. So look at the tomato. Show how thick it is. See that? See the reason why I use it? It's not too tangy like the paste. Okay. It's not too look at the consistency. Very good. Now I'm going to chop our tomatoes, slice it, then we start cooking the stew. stage of every Nigerian stew is to fry the tomatoes properly to a lot of oil. If you don't add too much oil, it will be splashing everywhere and it will not dry very well. So here I have a bay leaf and curry powder. Because I have a picky kid, I blended the onions, okay, so that they will not pick it. You can do that. So we stir it. We are going to allow the onions, the blended onions. This is blended onions. My kids, some of them doesn't like to eat onions, to see it in their food. So I have to blend it. Let's allow it to saute, then we add our tomatoes. So look at the onions. Mind you, I use the oil to blend it, okay? I'm not water. Tomatoes. So it's going to take time, okay? As I used to say, if you want to cook, then you have to bring out time and be patient, okay? You don't rush it. So it's going to take time to reduce. That is what I mean by 
when I say dry, okay, let it reduce the liquid, the juice in it, okay. By so doing, when you add your broth, it will taste good. If you get this first stage right, then when you add your broth, it will taste good. So we're going to cover it up, okay, so that it doesn't splash on the stove. Cover it so that it doesn't splash. Okay. Our tomatoes. Look at that. At this point, it is ready. The tomatoes is properly fried and the meat is cooked and tasty. The broth is tasty. So we are going to combine it together. When you see this oil popping up, look at the color has even changed darker. Then you know that your tomato is ready for you to add the broth. If not, it will not taste good. Let me add the chicken broth. It's going to make it tasty. Mix it up. Right now we are going to season the stew properly, okay? The seasoning in the chicken may not be enough, so we are going to add more and taste. So I'm going to add more seasoning, okay? Salt. Mix it up, okay? Later we add the meat because we don't want to overcook the meat. Okay, let's cover it and let it simmer, then we add our meat. So here is our stew. I've added everything. It is very delicious and tasty. I'm going to remove the excess oil later, okay, because we don't want excess oil. So now I'm going to add the meat and then we dish out our food, we plate our food. So if you like, you can dry your meat. I don't dry mine, okay, because it's hard enough. So we mix it up, and this delicious stew is ready, okay. Everything is in the right proportion, the seasoning. Don't add too much of any of the spices, okay. Add just enough, but not too much, so that you can perceive the aroma now let's allow it a little while to simmer and then we dish our food today we prepared this delicious nigerian chicken stew and we have come to the end of this video please subscribe share this video and I'll be seeing you once again in my next video. Bye and God bless you.